Hi, my name is Mike Hefner um, at Cybos 2022. Very excited to be back in person. Uh, I work for Appian. I'm the vice president of solutions and go-to-market uh, for Appian, and we're thrilled to be here. We're meeting customers. We're meeting partners. We're uh, doing lots of press and media interviews. There's a real buzz and excitement about being back at Cybos. That's a great question. So Appian provides a digital process automation platform. Uh, we also provide solutions that focus on the financial services banking sector. Uh, we're here at Cybos 2022 to meet with uh, our customers, our prospects, and many of our partners that are in the larger Appian ecosystem. Yes, perfect. Uh, financial services are our most important, largest, fastest growing sub-vertical. Uh, in particular, in financial services, we're focused on helping our customers drive their unique value strategies. We do that by providing a platform that helps to unify process, data, and automation into a singular platform. Yeah, low code is all about speed. So it really allows our customers to take the best of Appian, which is really creating applications via a visual interface, a mouse, versus writing lines of code. Why that's really important is the agility that our customers achieve in building applications that are mission critical, but not just building them, but also being able to maintain, update, and revise them, especially in an environment where you know, the industry is highly regulated, there is constant change. Appian is built for change. Yeah, first of all, Cybos is my favorite financial services conference. We've been coming since 2016. Uh, I believe that was Geneva. Uh, it's been amazing to see our presence at uh, Cybos expand. And the reason I like Cybos so much is it's a real opportunity to engage strategically with decision makers that have the remit of trying to drive what's next in their organization. Uh, and we're having an impact and we're helping. You know, there's no doubt in 2022, the macroeconomic climate has changed. What we're hearing from our customers is automation has really moved to the center. Automation to create better client outcomes, to really create more interconnected operations, to drive for efficiency and more predictability and regulatory outcomes. So we're doing all of that. Uh, and in this environment, uh, what we're really seeing is banks leaning into the macro topic of automation. Yeah, very excited. Uh, we're sharing three primary uh, solutions and case studies. The first is an actual solution. So this is an out of the box offering around customer lifecycle management. Uh, it was built by some of our best engineering talent with inputs from the marketplace. It is a fully deployable uh, solution, so that's number one. Number two is something we've co-built with Swift that zeroes in on ISO 2222, um, and in particular, the, the entire challenge around being able to uh, do capital market flows more effectively. And then the third is a bit of a showpiece about the metaverse uh, and trade finance. So if you've ever wondered about the applicability of metaverse, we've got a great showcase example for that. Yeah, it's a, it's, there's two sides to this. One is we're seeing an increasing backlog in IT development projects in the big banks. 
uh, it's, it's really a race for trying to keep up for most IT organizations. Something has to change. I think that's where low code comes in. Low code really changes the mix of who develops. So it's, in our example, it's IT working shoulder to shoulder with business in a much more agile fa fashion. So moving faster is really differentiation there. So this question of talent and the acquisition of talent into banking, financial services is a really important one. Uh, and I think it's very much some of the deficits are being formed by the work environment. You know, this next generation of employees doesn't want to sit in front of a green screen doing manual data entry. They're much more engaged around problem solving in compelling work environments that really lean into modern user experiences. Yeah, the, the key there is accelerate and automate. Um, Appian allows our customers to move away from building silos of applications, which is traditionally what's happened. Think about Appian as a unifier, uh, but also an accelerator, because ultimately what we're building is we're creating building blocks that can be leveraged, not just for the first application, but the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth application. The acceleration comes from being able to leverage that infrastructure that gets created in a very simple, easy to adapt way that actually allows our customers to accelerate the time to value significantly by 2x every 18 months. In particular, for chief operating officers in financial services and banking, I think it's all about efficiency. It's all about driving out non-value added activities. It's all about interconnecting the ecosystem and doing that in a much more effective, compelling way.